Hey guys, what is going on? Balls here. So today I'm on Red Dead Redemption 2 and I'm going to be teaching you my top 6 beginner tips to online. Now these are going to be in no particular order whatsoever, so make sure you stick to the end to see all of the tips that I'm going to be telling you guys. And finally, one of the biggest things that I find is the biggest struggle in the online is actually getting money. Now I have a bunch of tips lined up, so if you want to see a video of that, then let me know down in the comments below. So, starting off with tip number one free roam quests. Now these are an absolutely amazing way of getting both XP and money in the game. And just a little pointers, there is actually a trophy to actually do five of them. So when you get an invite, it'll pop up in the top left hand corner in purple writing saying you've been invited to a free roam quest. Now a big mission you'll get with this is called Dispatch Rider, where basically a bunch of players and posses all get pushed into this one lobby in this one area and it's a battle to get a horse and take it to the designated area. It's pretty straightforward but surprisingly it's quite difficult because everyone is going out for each other. Now going to tip number two. Like I said earlier, money is very, very difficult to get on this online. So I recommend what you do is actually save your money and spend it on the critical things when you first start off with the game. Now by this, what I mean is don't go off, go to a gunsmith and start making your gun in all these fancy colours with all these fancy mods when it's not needed. Ideally when you're starting off the game, you want to save your money for food and horses and a good thing to buy is a posse if you are playing with friends, which you need $200 for. So I do recommend you save your money, spend it on all the critical things when you first start the game. Don't waste it on a bunch of things that you don't necessarily need at the moment of time. Now my tip number three for when you start off the game, don't go running in gung-ho and killing everyone. It's not the best move to make. You actually get no gain from killing enemies, so there's actually no point in really doing it if you're not actually in a game mode where it does benefit you, obviously. The only time you need to kill people is if they're in a quest, say. So say they've got to deliver mail, then you can go off, you can kill them, take them out yourself, and then you actually interrupt their mission and get reward yourself. So that's great, go and kill them then. But if you're just running around and there's people standing there in the town, say, don't necessarily kill them. If they're not trying to get you, you don't really need to get them. It's just my personal opinion. But I do definitely think it's a tip because if you're trying to do missions and stuff and you're trying to get somewhere, it can take three times longer if you've got a posse of four chasing after you trying to get your blood. So basically, if you're grinding through the missions, then don't go out for a squad. Just kind of mind your own business, get from A to B, and then do whatever you want after that. Now moving on to tip number four, I recommend playing as a posse. I mean, you can play on your own, there's nothing wrong with that. There also gives you the option to join other posses, which is great, it's fun, it's a way to meet new people. But if you can play with your friends in which you can actually talk to them and do missions with them, it makes the game a lot easier to play, especially if you've got another posse chasing after you, then it's gonna be easier to kill them and move on. And as well as that, having your friends with you, it also means when you're in missions, you can jump on the back of their horse, they can get you somewhere, you can call your horse in, you can jump back on your horse. It basically makes missions a lot easier to do. And as well as that, playing online can be quite time consuming. And if you don't want to pay for the fast travel, it's a lot of running around because fast travel is damn expensive as well. So I pretty much wouldn't recommend that at the start of the game. I would recommend just running around and that can be quite boring. I hate to say it, but it can. It is a lot better if you've got friends with you, you can have a little mess around, get to the mission zone. It's a bit better than just running around on your own. Now, tip number five. I know I said these were in no order, but this one kind of is my biggest shout to everyone. And that is to actually get a good horse. I hadn't done that and it was a struggle, I tell you that. Playing missions with your friends when they've got better horses is quite tricky. If you've got a bad slow horse that's running out of stamina, you've got no food and you're at the back of the pack and they've all bolted off because they've got to get the mission done in time. It's a struggle. Get a good horse and you can actually participate in the mission. Otherwise, you pretty much are just the straggler. And as well as that, don't get me wrong, you can buy another horse. It is going to run out of stamina. So always make sure you buy food to feed the horse when you're running along and it's run out of stamina. Uh, or just buy the stamina thingies. I can't remember what they're called. But you can buy them and then it fully restores your horse's stamina. But if you are going to buy the food, which is cheaper, then I recommend getting hay as that is the best thing to build up stamina. Now finally, my little tip number six. It's not necessarily a tip for getting better at the game, but it's a tip to actually help you potentially at the game. 
Now what you actually want to do is hold down on the D-pad and what this does is it basically gives you the option to either enhance the map, to either have a compass up instead of the map or to just have your map as normal as in your little circle mini map that's in the corner, the left hand corner. So I do recommend actually having that one expanded so that when you're in missions and such you can see where all the enemies are around in the little red circles, it just gives you more vision basically and it doesn't actually restrict your view at all of the actual game so I highly recommend doing that. So I hope this video has been useful for you guys. If it has then please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to me for more of these videos. Also let me know down in the comments what Red Dead Redemption 2 online video you want to see next. Thanks for watching guys. See ya!